Are electric cars really better for the environment? What impact do electric vehicles have on the surrounding environment? We are going to discuss that topic in this video, even though it is a challenging and crucial matter to answer. The protection of the planet. Compared to automobiles and trucks powered by internal combustion engines, electric vehicles EVs have a significantly better environmental profile in terms of reducing pollution and maintaining environmental sustainability. However, there is still space for progress in this regard. Electric vehicles EVs have a variety of effects on the environment, of which a sizable number are beneficial to the environment and, of course, some are detrimental. An electric vehicle EV of the 2020 model year with a practical range of 300 miles is expected to emit approximately 206 grams of carbon dioxide equivalents, which is equivalent to carbon emissions throughout its life cycle from cradle to grave and well to wheels, according to data from the United States Department of Energy. This is the amount of carbon emissions that are expected to be produced by the EV. Certainly, that appears to be quite a burden. It is estimated that a compact SUV that is driven by a conventional gasoline engine will generate around 420 grams of QO2 equivalent per mile during the 2020 model year. This is more than twice as much as the emissions produced by the electric vehicle. It is important to keep in mind that these figures take into consideration the fact that electric vehicles are being charged by the typical mix of power grids in the United States, which includes, among other things, coal, wind, solar, hydropower, nuclear, and natural gas. When compared to the findings of examinations conducted by the Department of Energy, the findings of analogous investigations carried out by the Argonne National Laboratory are consistent. In comparison to electric cars, EVs, vehicles powered by internal combustion engines, ICE produce more than twice as much greenhouse gas emissions throughout their complete lifetime. Dirty Manufacturing One of the areas in which electric vehicles produce much more pollution than vehicles powered by internal combustion engines is manufacturing activities. It is projected that between 12 and 16 metric tons of carbon dioxide will be produced during the manufacturing process of a lithium-ion battery cell for a Tesla Model 3 with 80 kilowatt hours of power. It is estimated that 15,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide are released into the atmosphere during the extraction of a single ton of lithium from refractory rock. After the material has been extracted, transported, and refined, typically in China, the lithium may then be transported to a battery facility across the ocean before being installed in a vehicle. This occurs before the lithium is integrated into the vehicle. Each node in this network is responsible for a significant amount of carbon emissions. In the same way, this is also true for other substances, such as nickel, manganese, and even the more prevalent copper. In addition to being extracted, purified, and transported, unclean substances are also found. There is no difference between rare earth elements and other elements that are used in specific electric motors. In a similar vein, the entirety of this circumstance implies a significant loss of human life. For instance, mining may include the employment of children or even slaves, and the extraction of rare materials from the earth can result in scaring and poisoning of the land. Although the production of electric vehicles is substantially dirtier than the production of internal combustion engine vehicles, the operation of electric-powered automobiles and trucks is significantly cleaner. In addition, it is essential to point out that the situation is becoming more streamlined as a growing number of automobile manufacturers are using more modern battery chemistries. Nickel and cobalt in particular are replaced by these combinations which are safer alternatives to dangerous chemicals. Air quality. Moreover, electric vehicles contribute to an improvement in the quality of the air we breathe, which is an additional advantage. Because it does not entail the actual combustion of extinct dinosaurs, Electricity does not emit any exhaust pollutants like carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, or particles. Despite the foregoing, coal and natural gas burning power plants will create emissions. Nevertheless, regulating such emissions at a single source is substantially simpler than doing so at the level of millions of individual automobiles. A fascinating study that was conducted by the Keck School of Medicine at the University of Southern California and published in 2023 lends evidence to all of this. In a nutshell, they came to the following conclusions. Between the years 2013 and 2019, the group analyzed data concerning the total number of zero emissions car registrations, the levels of air pollution, and the number of asthma-related visits to emergency rooms across the state. Increased ZEV use in a particular postal code was associated with a decrease in the number of visits to emergency rooms, as well as the levels of air pollution in the surrounding area. This is very encouraging news, and it makes a major difference at the postal code level, where there are only a considerable number of electric vehicles. According to studies, the number of visits to emergency rooms that were caused by asthma fell by 3.2% for every additional 20 zero emissions automobiles that were driven by every 1,000 people. Tire degradation. The deterioration of tires, on the other hand, is an additional possible environmental disadvantage of electric vehicles. 
As a result of their higher weight and frequently high instantaneous torque electric vehicles EVs, have the potential to wear tires at a faster rate than comparable cars powered by internal combustion engines ICE. As a consequence of this, electric vehicles create a substantial amount of particulate pollution. It has been estimated by Imperial College London that tires are responsible for the generation of around 6 million metric tons of garbage from wear and tear every year on a global scale. This garbage consists of anything from particles that are visible to materials that are nanoparticles. The attention that is placed on automotive tires and possibly electric vehicles EVs will also rise as the worldwide awareness of microplastic contamination and the problems that are related to it grows. This phenomenon, however, can occur in internal combustion engine ICE cars as well. Repairs and upkeep are required. Electric vehicles EVs considerably reduce this, which is a significant advantage to the preservation of the environment. Not only is there no need to change, discharge, or dispose of crankcase oil, but there is also no need to use outdated filters that are filled with debris. Vehicles that are powered by electricity do not have PCV valves, fuel injection systems, or infrastructure for controlling emissions. The list comes close to being indefinite. As an additional benefit, regenerative braking considerably lessens the amount of wear and tear that friction brakes experience, which in turn extends the useful lifespan of the brakes and, of course, reduces the amount of particulate emissions. It is important to keep in mind that rotors and drums are worn items because they are similar to tires, pads, and soles. Recycling will be carried out. Not to mention electric vehicles have an additional impact on the environment through recycling. There is currently no method that is both large-scale and efficient for recovering the materials that are present in lithium-ion batteries once they have reached the end of their useful existence. This has resulted in a situation that is fairly difficult to describe. In the past, this was accomplished through the process of smelting. However, this method is not only dirty, but also wastes some of the valuable elements that are being recovered. This is of the utmost significance. Even though we are not quite there yet, I am certain that we will continue to make substantial headway in the direction of recycling batteries as soon as these businesses start to expand their operations. In conclusion, the issue has been resolved at this point. Electric vehicles are neither perfect nor a panacea-like solution to the problems we face in the areas of transportation and the environment. Electric cars, on the other hand, are more ecologically friendly than automobiles and trucks powered by internal combustion engines in several key ways throughout their lifetimes. Are you aware of anything else? Not only will you profit from increasing the range of your electric vehicle, but you will also be helping the environment. Would you like it? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting and informative videos.